Hello and welcome to the show. This is Everything Under the Sun. My name is Ty. Hope all of you are doing amazing, amazing out there and enjoying yourselves as much as possible. The weather's getting warmer. I was actually just speaking to my mom not too long ago and she was speaking about how it was like 80 degrees back in Virginia or like, you know, mid to high 80s. And that's kind of just insane. Like where I live now, it's it's coastal weather. And although Virginia Beach is like, or just like that kind of area is close to the ocean, it's not it's not like it is here, like where I live in Northern California. It's it's a lot breezy here, and like on the coast, a lot of people like it here because the weather doesn't get super hot. It, it doesn't reach the extremes like in most other places. Like even in the winter time, it doesn't really snow or get super cold. Like I think forty forties are like the average in the winter time, and in the summer, like seventy five is like a, a high high. Like it's it's not that hot usually here on the coast. So. I don't know. I hope all of you are enjoying the weather. I think that's kind of where that was going and and enjoying, you know, it's like uh, there's just so much there's so much happening. I was talking to my mom about this as well. Like there's so much development that's that's happening right now. I think something really amazing is happening in the world and just within people, individuals and even you that that's listening right now. I think that there's there's just so much that's that so much change that's occurring and growth and I think movement towards like an ideal and that ideal is something that it's not necessarily something that's uh i guess envisioned as something that's solid it's not something that necessarily has to be anything set in stone but i think there's an inspiration that's being brought about something that is growing within people and i I don't know i'm just very excited to see just this world changing and, and people changing and although we look at the news and we see same things like perpetuating and there's so much like gun violence and you know war and just anger and hostilities and just things happening and it seems like we're in the same place but I think as you look within yourself and you look within the conversations that you're having with your friends and maybe it's just like those one or two conversations that are super meaningful the ones that incite inspiration you know something something more something just I, I don't know I, I can't really explain it and I think I, I hope that it's being received and, and you're you're feeling the same thing as well because it's truly amazing to see those around you and those that you love and care about starting to embark on different journeys and noticing within yourself too the journey that you're embarking on as you start to unfold these new parts of yourself and again it doesn't matter where we are in life we're constantly growing and we're constantly realizing and recognizing new parts of ourselves and and that's one of the best things about life it's like it, it doesn't it doesn't change we we constantly just keep growing you know it's like that is that is life you know it's like it, it's this amazing change that keeps happening and and we all get to experience it and although there are ups and downs I think that we can realize that through the time that we've gone through this change that it's been something that has brought us to where we are now has brought us strength has brought us resilience has brought us the ability to be with someone else and and be there for them because we've dealt with that and and I think that's just really, really amazing. So I don't know, I feel like I'm going on a, a, a little tangent here and, and I'm just going to get things going here. So I wanted to speak this episode about this idea of not trying or not forcing. And this is something that I think is, it's really strange for people to think about because when you hear the idea of not forcing or not trying, people may feel as though it means like not do anything. And that's not the case at all. It means really the the emotional energy that comes behind the want for so many things in our lives and if you are alive then you're constantly wanting something whether it's you're wanting food you're wanting sleep you're wanting an ideal relationship you're wanting a job we we're always wanting things and the want isn't the bad thing but it's the feeling of it needing to be here as humans we seem to have this strange thing called instant gratification or the the want for instant gratification and it's just wanting something right here like the thing that we desire we want it right in front of us and I'm not saying that that's something that's not possible but I'm saying that the forcing of it the energy that that comes from it not being here or the thought of it not being here is what causes it to oftentimes delay itself from actually appearing in your life so when thinking about this idea of not forcing or not trying it's really getting at that idea of not only manifesting what you want in your life but not needing to force yourself or not needing to force this situation to come about. And I know that can be strange to think about because, you know, it's like, well, if I'm not trying to make it work, then how is it going to happen? But the things that seem to happen best in our lives are the things that happen naturally. 
you know, you hear those situations like act natural, you know, and it's, it's something that, you know, it's like when we start to just let things flow, everything just works out easier. I don't know if you have like a hobby or maybe you did a sport or something, but when you're in that flow, things are just going that you're not forcing anything, you're not trying anything, you're just doing. And it really comes down to the confidence that you have or the, the, the confidence that you have or the assurance that you have of your ability to do it or that you can have it. I think a lot of times when we try to force these different things in different parts of our lives, I think a lot of the forcing comes from the feeling as though if we don't do it, then we won't have it. And there's like a fear of lack or there's a fear of not having it that starts to dominate that that action. And it's not really forcing of the activity that we're trying to have. It's really forcing of not having the consequences of the other thing you know so i I guess you know in this in this idea i wanted to kind of speak about more like just relationships goals and the things that we start to develop within ourselves and within relationships we can see that that's something that's just so huge that we find ourselves seeking relationships or, or trying to make these relationships work and at the end of the day the the core of it or the core of that forcing is the feeling of lack or the feeling of not being met in some kind of way and trying to force that to happen, trying to force that activity to happen. But it's really just trying to push away from the feelings that are coming up, from the things that are coming up already. So we're not moving in a direction based on confidence of, you know, I know that I have a successful relationship. I know that I have a fulfilling experience with my friends and the people that I care about. You know, these are things that we want to have in our lives, but we feel as though we have to try hard to make it work when that's not the case. I mean, most of these relationships that you have in your life, they just occurred. They just they just came about in some kind of situation over the course of time, over the course of just having conversations. You didn't have to force them to come into your life. And the relationships that maybe were forced, maybe you had to associate with someone for work and, you know, you were kind of friendly, but we have words like acquaintances. You know, it's like when we associate with someone, but they're not like close to us, we say they're an acquaintance, but they become friends when we kind of just have a desire to want to speak to them more. It's not necessarily something that we're forcing. Again, it's just something that's coming about. And when we start to apply this idea to just all relationships that we have, even the ones that we are having currently, the ones that are longstanding, we can start to realize that, you know, our desires may have shifted along the lines of that relationship. You know, maybe now that you're friends or maybe now that you're partners, you want certain things. You you want to be fulfilled in a certain way or maybe you want to bring a new dynamic into the relationship. I mean, whatever it is, it's it's something that, that's attached to an emotion. And that's the biggest thing, again, with this whole idea of forcing and and, and not trying it's the emotion that comes about when we want these things because you want that fulfillment and you're kind of thinking about how great it would be to have that but as long as you're thinking about the want for it first of all you're thinking about the want for it so you're going to continue to want it you're not going to have it so the first thing about not trying is feeling that confidence of it already being there already being the case and that can be something difficult because we don't see it in front of us we don't see it happening so we feel as though it's not happening. But the more we keep trying to make it happen, the more we're going to keep trying to make it happen. It's never going to just happen. And we have to think about that as we're moving towards our desires in these relationships. Recognize the things that you want out of a relationship as far as the feeling, because that's really what it comes down to, because that's what you're left with. When you're hurt by someone, when someone does something that is against what you feel you want for yourself, you feel hurt by it. So start with the feeling. Start with the feeling of what it would be like to be in the most ideal, loving relationship, whatever it is that you want in that relationship. Feel it. And feel it with confidence. Almost like you know, you know, you know Christmas is coming every year. You know, I'm not sure if you celebrate Christmas or New Year's, whatever it is. You know it's coming every year. You don't have to worry about it. You don't have to fear it's like, oh shit, is Christmas happening this year? Like you don't have to worry about it. It's 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 happening. And I know that you can say, well, Ty, that's a situation where it's like it's a yearly event, it's on calendar. Well, make your emotions like something that is set in stone. That is something that it be something that's planned, you know, and that can be something that's really hard because you're like, well, Ty, my emotions are changing all the time because these relationships are happening and I'm I'm feeling these certain ways when these relationships come up or when these situations come about. Yes, of course, that's going to happen. You're going to feel certain things, but it doesn't mean within your mind 
you have to change that ideal emotion that you want to feel within that relationship. And don't limit yourself to just the relationships that are right in front of you. If you want to feel fulfilled, if you want to feel like you are reaching or getting the things that you truly want out of any relationship, then open yourself up to allowing any relationship to come into your life. Because sometimes we want something out of someone that's just not going to give it to us. They're, they're just not in that space. They're not in that, that, they're not on that wavelength that we are on. They're not on that, in that place that we want to be at. So you have to open yourself up to allow someone else in your life that's going to have that, that's going to provide that for you, that's going to be on your same wavelength. But the only way you can get on your ideal wavelength is to feel it. You know, it's like if, if you're feeling a low vibration, if you're feeling really just like tense and angry and frustrated in these relationships, then guess what kind of relationships you're going to have? Your boss is going to get on your nerves. You're going to get a new coworker that's going to get on your nerves. Your partner is just going to get worse and worse. It's just going to be a, a, a perpetuation of that emotion that you're feeling. Feel something that is more ideal, something that's more in line with who you are. And think of it as tuning a radio station. Tune it to the station that has the best music. You don't want to turn it to something that's like, well, I hate this music right now. And then you're just going to sit through the entire car ride listening to this music and thinking about how much you hate it. Tune it to the station that you want it to be on. And maybe even when it's on that station, you get distracted and start thinking about other stuff. And you're like, oh, yeah, my favorite song is on. Like, I know it's on because I'm listening to it right now. And even though I'm thinking about other things, even though there are things passing me and cars passing me by and people honking the horn, I know that I'm on my favorite channel. I know that I'm tuned in to where I want to be. And although all these other things are happening, I know that my wavelength is where it's at. And everything else will start to flow. Everything will also start to just go in that direction because that's where you're at. Outside of relationships, when we think about the goals that we want to have in our lives, this is something that's so huge. I mean, we're, we're always seeking to have goals and, and to, to achieve these goals. I mean, more importantly than just having them, but achieving them and, and having them in our lives and, and the things that we just want to fulfill in ourselves, in our lives. And we try so hard. We force so hard to have them come about. And it's not doing anything except causing more emotional distress. When we have an ideal of the place that we want to achieve or the things that we want to achieve, you feel as though you have it. You feel as though you you already possess it. And I, I know that we do this all the time because you have things in your life that you wanted. And it's it's something that's hard for us to really think about, but we do this all the time and that's just how it works. When you feel hungry, you get food. That's just what happens. You're in that vibration, you want that thing and then you get it. If you have a song stuck in your head, you listen to it. You like turn it on your phone or whatever it is. If you're thirsty, you take a drink. If you want a shower, then you get in the shower. And there are these things that, I mean, they can seem so simple. But when we are in tune with it, when we're like, this is happening, this is what I want, and this is happening, then we have it. It's, it's literally like we are doing magic all the time. Like, and it's not even magical because it's just, it's just life. And as we start to incorporate this to bigger things in our lives and the things that maybe we don't see instantly or that we can't just grab and, and bring to us instantly, we still can hold that feeling of knowing that's going to happen. You know, if you're hungry and you're at work and you're like, I know I'm going to have a lunch break. I know I'm going to get lunch at some point and eat something. I know it. It's, it's not like I'm going to be worried like right now, if I don't have it right now, then I may just forget about eating altogether and then I may forget to eat tomorrow. And you, you don't think about that. It's just you just do. And even if you're not able to in this moment, even if you're not able to grab it in this moment, you can still know that you're going to have it. You can have a certainty in something that doesn't exist. And we have this certainty all the time. It's just that when things start to get bigger, when things are more impactful, when things have more of an emotional tie to it, we feel less empowered. We feel like we have less control over it. And that's not the case. We have just as much control over that goal that we want to achieve, just as we have control over the goal to make some food and take a shower and, and watch something that makes you laugh and be around people that make you feel good. It's just as easy as that. It's just as easy as the things that we do all the time, but you just have to know and, and don't let those emotions of those heavier things bring you down. Let them actually be propellants. Let them drive you to realize where you actually want to be. Because, you know, those dark emotions, those negative emotions, they are not, they're not curses. I promise you that. They're, they're guidance for you. 
to recognize what you want and, and where you want to be. If you are in a relationship, if you are feeling like you want to achieve something and then you're feeling these negative feelings that are starting to just come right afterwards, then you're recognizing that there's something that's happening, whether within you or outside of you, that is causing you to respond in a certain way that is outside of where you want to be. And once you recognize that, then you tune that radio back to the tune that you want to listen to. But the biggest issue with all of this is the forcing of and trying to make it happen. It's, it's the forcing to make it come about, and that's not something that does us any good because it ties us to negative emotions when it doesn't come about. And those negative emotions are just going to perpetuate negative situations. And I say negative, and not in the sense that it's necessarily bad, but negative in the sense that it's not positively correlated with where you want to be. Once we stop forcing things to happen or forcing things to come about and allowing things to just be, and not necessarily just be as far as, you know, it's this is super ideal, I hate the situation, I'm just going to deal with it. No, it's, it's this is not ideal, this is not the situation that I want to be in, and I know within myself that I'm in a different place. I know that I am surrounded by people that I love and that I care about and that fulfill me in in various ways i know that and around you can can be complete chaos complete just destruction of everything that is going against the thing that you're thinking about but just hold steady to that tune hold steady to that radio station and you'll realize that those people will take that argument into another room you'll realize that those co-workers that are annoying you they decided to find a new job or maybe you found a new job there are things that will start coming about because you you don't have you don't take anything else in you don't take you don't allow it to disrupt anything that you're feeling as i spoke about in the last episode it's really about the certainty it's it's about knowing you know it's it's like you have to know that that things will be as you want them to be even if it's not present right now you have to know that christmas is coming even if it's not present right now and realize that when I say these things, you know, they can be, they can seem very challenging, they can seem very big, but you're just thinking about them for those things that have the most emotional energy. But start small, start start thinking about those things that you're forcing in, in the small parts of your life, those small little irritants that seem to get under your skin, but they get under your skin because it's like my coworker has this like aroma they have this, I don't know, they just have like this cologne that they wear. It's just so frustrating. Every single day that you go into work, that aroma is going to be stronger and stronger and stronger. Because the only thing that you're thinking about is how much you dislike it. And even forcing yourself to deal with it, it doesn't feel good. Like, you know that. And you're like, if I have to deal with this, then fine, I'll deal with it. But every time you smell that smell, it's going to trigger something. It's going to make you feel upset. And that is what's going to cause it to continually perpetuate. So you say, Ty, like, how do I get my coworker to stop wearing this cologne? And I say, that's the problem. That's, that's, what, that's what the problem is. That's this entire thing of trying and forcing. How do I get this person to stop wearing that? You don't have to get them to do anything. You just have to get yourself in the right place. And that person will disappear. They will run out of the cologne. They'll realize that, yeah, I've been getting a lot of negative compliments or I haven't gotten laid recently, so I'm going to stop wearing this cologne. Good job. Good on you. You don't have to do anything. Just just know, you know, just just feel the feeling of it already being there, of it already happening, because forcing yourself is only going to bring you into a place that you're not feeling good within yourself. And that really comes down to this 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 last part of this forcing and not trying that I wanted to bring up. And that's within our own personal development. As we think about these ideas of not forcing and not trying within all these different aspects of our lives, it all comes down to our own emotional energy and how we're feeling within ourselves and even as we start to grow and develop within ourselves a lot of it is tied to the people around us and the things that we're achieving and when it comes down to it it really all is about our own personal development our own place like where do we feel that we are in our lives and do we feel like we're connected with ourselves in our lives and something that we try so hard to do is to force ourselves not to feel something to force ourselves to be at a certain place it's like I should be more articulate or I should be more patient or I should be more mindful or I should be more whatever it is. It's like we, we 
put ourselves in this position where not only are we trying to force things outside of us, but we're trying to force things within us. We're trying to force ourselves to grow in this way or to kind of remove these kind of things that are that that we claim to weigh us down things that we see as weighing us down we try to force them out of our lives but the more we force again the more we're moving towards this negative emotion because it's almost like we're we're bashing part of ourselves to make this change i can even say in most instances even outside of us when we're trying to reach these goals of you know going different places or doing different things or have these relationships we're also bashing on ourselves for the things that we're feeling so as I've been talking this entire time about this idea of not trying or not forcing, a lot of it has come down to this emotion and the feeling of this emotion, you know, being what you idealize or what you want for yourself. And in that action of trying to bring these emotions about, sometimes it can seem like it's forcing those emotions to happen or forcing yourself to start thinking differently or forcing yourself to do something or whatever, whatever it may start to seem like when you're trying to make these changes in your life. But the biggest idea with this idea of not trying is the compassion that you have for yourself. And that's really what it comes down to. It's having compassion for yourself and knowing that if you truly desire it, then you can have it. And a lot of the negative emotion that comes is from feeling as though we're letting ourselves down or feeling as though we're not where we're supposed to be. But if we're not where we're supposed to be, then we wouldn't be here, you know? We wouldn't be in whatever position that we're in. And as we learn whatever lesson it is from whatever situation that we're going through, whether good or bad, we can allow that to let us grow rather than hinder us and hinder our growth. So when we work to develop ourselves, this idea of not trying or not forcing is probably where it comes the biggest into play. It's giving yourself that compassion and knowing that no matter where you want to go or what you want to achieve, that you will have it. But you have to know that it will be. And it has to be something that feels natural. You know, like if, you, if you're, you know, five foot two and you're like, I want to be a professional NBA star, then not saying it's impossible, but likelihood, I mean, if, if it doesn't feel like, does that seem like it will be natural to you? And it's like, as we start thinking about the things that we want for ourselves, the things that we desire to have in our lives, does it feel like it's natural to you to have that thing or to do that thing or to be that thing. It all comes down to that idea of, you know, act natural. And it doesn't mean that we have to do the things that we've previously done before because it's what is familiar. Because all low familiarity can be comfortable. As humans, we are dynamic. We are ever-changing. We are constantly wanting more. So that new journey that you want to go on, it can be something that maybe you have a passion to do something that is completely outside of anything that you've ever done before but it's something that makes you feel good and go towards that feeling because that is you listening to that radio station you're listening to that tune of where you want to be and you're focusing in on that so if it feels good for you but you're like I've never done that before I've never owned my own business I've never done this type of work before it doesn't matter if it makes you feel good to think about it then start moving towards it and everything will start coming towards you. And no matter what, if you hold that ideal of knowing that it will be, then you can enjoy the ride. You know, as I spoke about the last episode about looking up from the wake and, and looking around you, it's it's enjoying the ride. You know, the, the destination may be, again, like a huge like mansion party or back to the harbor or wherever it may be, but the ride is what is something that's enjoyable. But you can't enjoy it if you're forcing things to happen. Something I always like to think about is the river, just a river flowing. And you don't see it, you know, trying to bash through a rock. You know, it's, it's going around it. And it, it kind of just flows easily. And as things come up, it flows around it. And it knows that it's going to continue flowing. Well, I don't know if a river knows that it's going to continue flowing. But it keeps moving despite the, the things that are there. And it continues to stay its course despite the obstacles that seem to appear in front of it. So in wrapping up this whole idea of not trying and not forcing, it, it really comes down to the emotion that you feel within yourself. And that's that's the most important thing. You know, it's like, no matter what, we are the ones that have to live our lives. And we can't enjoy the ride if we're constantly forcing things to happen or trying to force things to happen. There's a Taoist teaching that kind of speaks about this, where, I mean, the entire idea of not trying 
and it's called Wu Wei. And Alan Watts, I've brought up him multiple times, he speaks of this idea of Wu Wei, and he uses the metaphor of an archer. And he says an archer has to kind of let go of the bow without thinking. You know, like you can, like to aim and to shoot but to do that without without thinking because if you think then then that's when you kind of like start overthinking or start to really question yourself and that's what we do all the time and that's really what this idea of not forcing or not trying is getting at it's it's when you when you try to force something or try to make something come about Oftentimes, the accompanying things are going to be these thoughts or these doubts or these fears or these worries that are going to start to make you second guess yourself. And you're going to shoot off target because of it. And I think something that we can think to kind of immediately about that is like when you have a word that's like on the tip of your tongue, you know, we have that saying, it's like, ah, oh, it's on the tip of my tongue. And then the more you try and force to make it happen, you're like, okay, it's getting further and further away from me. Like, I, I just, I can't remember it. Maybe another time. Maybe it'll come to me at another time. These are things that I mean, we, we know that this is already happening. I mean, it's just how life works. When we let go of it, then it comes to us. We're in the kitchen cutting up some fruit or something like that. And then it comes, it's like, ah, that's the word I was trying to think of. It comes to you when you're not trying. But when we try, that's when everything else starts to come in to kind of get their two cents in. All the doubts, all the worries, all the fears, all the, maybe it's this word, maybe it's that word, maybe it's this word, maybe it's that word. And, and we find ourselves in this kind of conundrum of kind of now fighting off all those other things rather than focusing on the thing that we idealized in the first place. So when bringing anything in your life, when manifesting anything in your life, because that's what this is about, this, is, this entire conversation of not trying, it's, it's not about not actually having the things that you want, it's actually manifesting everything that you want in your life. But the forcing of it is something that keeps us at a standstill, so to speak, or puts those things at a delay, the things that we want, because we're still dealing with all the other stuff. So in your life, know what the ideal relationship is for you. As far as friends, as far as significant other, know what that feels like and know that you can have it and allow it to come in. Don't force it, allow it to come in. The goals that you have for your, your life, the things that you want to achieve, know that you'll achieve them. Does it feel natural for you? Does it inspire you? Does it make you feel good inside? It doesn't matter if it's new. It doesn't matter if it seems like it's a challenging task. Those are all those other things. Those are the two cents from all the other doubts and things that are coming in. Don't listen to them. Listen to the emotion. Listen to that tune-in radio station that you, that you know that you love. You feel it. You're like, yes, this is my favorite song didn't even hear it before but this is my favorite song i know it i hear it i love it move towards it let it happen and it will happen without forcing it without all the emotional drainage that happens when we try to force it let it happen because you know that it will come about because you're following that good feeling you're following that song and most importantly when we're growing within ourselves you know constantly we're growing and we we think that we've passed something and we think that oh you know like i've I've grown past that and, you know, like, I don't deal with that anymore. And then you deal with it and then you get down on yourself. Don't get down on yourself. Just tune back into that radio station that you want to be on. But before you can tune back to the radio station that you want to be on, you have to recognize you're on a station that you don't want to be on. And that's the biggest thing that we have to recognize. Because oftentimes we live our lives and we think, well, yeah, it's an everyday struggle, you know, like that's just what, <laughs> that's just what life is. And, and then we live by that and then every day is a struggle and then we just deal with it. But then you're forcing yourself to deal with it. Do you, do you see what's happening here? You're forcing yourself to deal and live with the circumstances that you don't want, but you're forcing yourself to live with it. So it's going to feel forceful. It's going to feel not good. It's going to feel like you don't want it because you don't want it recognize you're on a radio station that you don't want to be on and tune yourself to one that you do want to be on and as we grow within ourselves allow yourself that compassion and that energy and that trust to know that you can rely on your emotions to guide you to where you want to be and that any type of pitfall or seemingly downfall or step back it's just one step closer to where you want to be because if you want fulfillment and there are these things that, that you're holding on to or that you've been holding on to. 
and you you get to a certain point where you're growing you're like yes like i'm in this great place and then something happens and you're suddenly feeling as though you've backtracked you didn't backtrack at all you just exposed another part of you that was hiding that isn't in alignment with that fulfillment so you were just given like the best indicator like holy shit like this is something i'm still dealing with this is something that that i'm still on this vibration even though i I didn't even realize it you've gained awareness of the radio station that it's on and and change it to the radio station that you want it to be on Uh, a lot of this idea of not trying and not forcing it's really something that ties into a lot of things that i've been spoken about in this podcast it it it's part of our life and that's why it ties into everything that's that's in this podcast everything under the sun i i'm constantly amazed by just how much there is a connection with all these things but as we recognize it we can have more power in the situation and as we have more power in the situation we can have more confidence as we move forward in our lives so have that confidence in yourself have that confidence in knowing that you can and will have anything that you desire and yeah just keep your radio tuned to the right station sometimes that can be easier said than done but as you know what station you want to tune in on it'll be easier and easier and easier every time so that's all i have for this episode a bit longer than i expected it to be but there there's definitely i feel like a lot here and there's definitely a lot more that can be said about this idea of not trying not forcing Wu way if you want to look into that it's it's there's just so much there that i think can be um bountiful for anyone to explore but yeah, that's, that's all I have for this episode. If you have any thoughts or ideas or anything that you'd like to share, you can send those to everything.sunpodcast at gmail.com. You can join any of the social media groups, Instagram, everything.sunpodcast, Twitter, at everysunpodcast, and the Facebook group, at everysunpodcast as well. And yeah, love you all, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>